Hi friends, Laura Showers here with Sip of Sanity Tea and Events. Today I'm excited because we are going to make tea and cookies. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with four ingredient cookies. Very easy to make in the microwave. You will need a ripe banana, three packages of instant oatmeal, a quarter cup of chocolate chips, and you're going to need a quarter cup of peanut butter. The first step is to peel and then mash our banana. I don't know if you've ever mashed a banana before, but you just need a little plate and a fork. Once you get it out of the peel, then you press down and mash the banana. Get it all nice and mashed up. The riper your banana is, the easier it is for you to mash it. Once you get your banana completely mashed, then you can scrape it in to your mixing bowl. Our next step is to open the three oatmeal packets and pour those into our mixing bowl. Very easy to do. If you don't have oatmeal packets, you could measure one cup of instant oatmeal and add that to your bowl instead. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use milk chop chocolate chips or white chocolate chips. And then you're going to use the same measuring cup and measure out a quarter cup of peanut butter or nut butter. You can use almond butter. Any nut butter would be fine for this. Make sure you get it in there, measure to the top. And then you're going to scrape that into your bowl. Let's mix up all of our cookie ingredients that we just added to our bowl. Make sure that you are getting it nice and mixed. Get all of the oatmeal off the sides. Make sure that you have the peanut butter spread throughout. If it sticks to your spoon, scrape it off into your bowl. Keep mixing until you feel that it is all the way mixed through. To shape your cookies, form into six two inch balls. And it's about the size, here's your quarter measuring cup, it's about the size of your quarter measure cup. Nice and poofy. You wanna make six of those. Put all of your cookie dough balls into a microwave safe dish. Give it a little pat down so that they're not standing straight up. And we're going to carry those to the microwave. And right now we're going to add those into the microwave just the way they are. Set our timer for one minute and 10 seconds on high, press start. All right, so now we are ready to make some peach oolong tea. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take your packets and you're gonna wanna tear the top off so that you can open it up. Then it is ziplocked, so you have to kind of pull it apart. In the top of each bag, you will find something that looks like this. These are tea bags. So unfurl your tea bags. You need one. And we're going to measure some tea into the tea bag. So I'm gonna set mine in my empty cup. If you are heating water in the microwave in your mug, you need to be very, very careful when it is in there and you take it out because sometimes when it's boiling temperature, it does not show the bubbles on top that it's boiling and you might wanna have some help getting it from the microwave. I used my electric um, kettle to heat water so that I can put the tea bag directly into an empty cup. If you do it in the microwave, you're going to want to bring the water over and you want the tea bag already full. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure a heaping teaspoon of the loose leaf tea into your tea bag. If you have decided that you wanted to make iced tea today, I would use the entire 
pack it and t both tea bags to put into your cup because you're going to want to make it really strong in order to put it on ice for iced tea. I'm just going to make a hot cup today. So I'm going to do just a little more than a teaspoon in my bag. And then if you have a sugar packet, you can open your sugar packet and add it directly into your water right now at the bottom of your cup. You can put it in there. And then we're going to pour hot water over the tea bag. Or if you've heated your water in the microwave, you're going to stick the tea bag into the water and we're going to let it sit in the water for four minutes. That's four minutes to steep the tea. I've set the timer for four minutes for my tea and this is a great time to take the cookies out of the microwave if you haven't yet. I'm still going to use my oven mitt just in case my pan is hot. It is probably not, but we want to be safe. I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to get those cookies out and put them on a nice serving plate as my tea is steeping. Look at how yummy those are. Puffy and chocolatey and oatmeal and peanut butter. They smell delicious. Mm. And there's my four minute timer. I've steeped my tea. So I'm going to take my tea bag out of the water, not squeezing it because when you squeeze it, it gets some of the tannins and bitterness out of the bag. Just set that aside. And if you like your tea hot, you can drink it hot. If you need to cool it down a little bit, you can always add a little ice to it to cool it down. And if you wanted to have your iced tea, remember you want to use the whole packet, steep it really dark, and then take the bags out and pour the entire thing over ice in a glass. But now I have my cooled off tea and my cookies, and it is tea and cookie time. Enjoy yours.